Udi, we're going to talk about alpaca today. That's right. Um, alpaca is kind of, it's a very popular fiber, obviously, right. but it's got a lot of qualities that are sort of unsung. You know, um, alpaca is incredibly, usually the way that it's spun is incredibly light and airy, uh -huh. so it traps a lot of heat and mm -hmm. uh, can really keep you warm. Sometimes, you know, you'll put on an alpaca right. sweater and be too warm even. Right. Um, it's also really great for those who have wool allergies because it doesn't have the same well, kind know of, that. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't have the same kind of scale structure as wool, so people who are irritated by wool are They're often not. just fine with alpaca. Uh -huh. So if you want to work with animal fibers but you can't handle wool, alpaca mm -hmm. is a really great choice. Um, I make my grandson's ski socks out of alpaca. That's, that's a perfect use for alpaca. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're very, very warm and I'm sure they feel great. So um, this particular yarn uh, comes from a collective of farmers, actually. We see uh -huh. more and more alpaca being grown like a in... Like co-op? Yeah, exactly. It's being grown um, more and more uh, on, a, on a scale that... You know, small scale? On a small scale, but it's getting larger and larger yes. um, by farmers in North America, which is really cool to see. Mm -hmm. So this set of a hat and a scarf and a vest um, is really a very cool pairing of pattern stitch mm -hmm. and of a fiber. The pattern mm -hmm. stitch is incredibly thermal. You know, it traps yes. a lot of heat in it. And in addition to the heat that the, that the alpaca itself can trap, it makes for a very, very warm set of accessories and a very warm vest. So if you need to knit any more ski accessories, I do. Um, this stitch might be a really good choice for you. And so, actually, I like the scarf because it has a pattern on the back and a pattern on the yeah, front. Yeah, so, um, so this pattern stitch is really cool. This is kind of the technical right side of the mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. You know, but as you can see, the, the wrong side of the work is quite beautiful as well. It, it has a different kind of look to mm -hmm. it. So while it's not not technically reversible in that it doesn't look exactly the same on every yeah. side. It, it looks very masculine. It does, and this would be a, a great way to have a project that's not just stockinette stitch, you right. know, but the, uh, and that a man would actually wear, but um, but it's still fun to knit. Right. So let's take a look at how this is done. I've already uh, got some working on my needles here, and this is at a slightly larger gauge than this, mm -hmm. um, than these samples, because I just want to be sure that everybody can really yeah. see what we're doing. But what I've done is I've set up every pattern repeat. This is a six row pattern repeat, and it begins with some ribbing. So okay. you can see that I've got a knit two, purl one, mm -hmm. knit two, purl one rib going all the way across. So I'm just going to do, finish doing that on my right side row here. Yes, and that's knit probably two. what gives that ribbing about on the back. Well, we're going, it does, um, mm -hmm. but we're going to kind of treat that in a very special way. So I'm going to end with a knit two. Okay. Um, and, you know, I, I did that for four rows on the wrong side, of course, those mm -hmm. knit stitches become purls and vice versa. Right. So on the wrong side, it's a purl two, knit one ribbing. Mm -hmm. um, and you can really see those columns of knit stitches there. So now the sixth row is where, uh, excuse me, I did that for five rows. So now the sixth row is where all the excitement happens, where oh, okay. this plain ribbing turns into a uh, <laughs> this nubbly thermal stitch. Okay. So I'm going to set up by just purling those two first two stitches. Mm -hmm. Now see how you can just literally you can count the number of yes. stitches here. Yes. I'm going to count down one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is a fifth stitch from the needle. Yes. I'm going to stick my needle right into that stitch. I'm not catching okay. anything else. I'm just catching the okay. left leg of that stitch. You cut half of what I call a chain stitch. Exactly. Just I'm yeah. catching sort of the left leg or the left right. half of that. Right. I'm going to drop that, that same stitch. column mm -hmm. of stitch off, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to ladder it all the way down. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and you can, well, you generally you don't yeah. want to do that um, by accident, but right. here we're doing it on purpose. So you can see that there are one, two, three, four ladders of yarn, mm -hmm. and then this is my mm -hmm. running yarn. So now I'm just going to pull this mm -hmm. stitch that's on my needle up, put mm -hmm. it on my left needle, and then knit it. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of trapped those ladders here, yes. and that's what's creating that scrunched kind of effect to it. Kind of like a bunch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to purl two again. And you can see it very nicely on the mm -hmm. wrong side where to pick up. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, and you can do it the other way around, too. You can drop it first mm -hmm. and ladder it down. But what I like to, but I like to put my needle in first so yes. that I know I'm not going to drop further than I want yeah. to. That's what I would do, too. Yeah, I would exactly. call that safe knitting. Exactly. Yeah. It's knitting far away from the Either way is correct. Edge. But yes, this exactly. Is the um, and if you, you know, get, if you're working in a yarn that's a little bit harder mm -hmm. to see, you know, sometimes alpaca can be pretty yes. fuzzy, mm -hmm. um, you actually don't even need to count down. What you can do is just be aware of the fact that, you know, once there's, the stitches right. work, there's a very distinct pattern. You have yes. the, the stretched out stitch and then the stitch above, the stretched out stitch and the stitch above. And the stitch above is where you're going to, oh, I'm sorry, um, you're going to leave that one stitch right above a stretched right. out stitch and, and stick your needle into the one above, above that. that. And ladder it down. Exactly. Yeah. So notice that when I'm doing this, I'm mm -hmm. not 
catching these these right. four ladders at all. You know, I don't want to put my needle under there. That's the mm -hmm. wrong thing to do. You want to make sure that you have just that one stitch. These ladders, just forget about them, mm -hmm. and put it back onto your needle. Yes. And you see that um, this is actually oriented in the opposite direction mm -hmm. that a knit stitch usually is. Mm -hmm. It's usually oriented like this with right. the right leg in the front. But you want it opposite. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter as oh, long okay. as you knit it untwisted. As long okay. as you keep it open, you know, as you're knitting it. Yes. Um, it's just a little bit more convenient for me mm -hmm. in the way that I hold the it's yarn kind of to fun do that. Pattern. It's really neat, you know. You get yeah. to kind of do something a little bit interesting, um, and it has a great, great look from both the front and from the back. However, you'd have to pick your yarn so that you actually can see your stitches. You don't want to do it in a really fuzzy yarn, or well, um, I would agree with that. You know, the the major reason I wouldn't do it in a fuzzy yarn though, or a sticky yarn, is because you want to be able to ladder these stitches. Cleanly. cleanly. You know, okay. you don't want them to stick together. Yes. Yeah. That's so, a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, and alpaca, you know, tends to be pretty pretty slick, even though, mm -hmm. even when you get this little halo around the yarn, you know, if uh, hair is sort of sticking out a little bit, they yeah. won't stick together yeah. to each other. They'll just create that nice. Do this one, Uni, and then sort of lay it down so oh, everybody yeah. can kind of see it. Absolutely. Lay those ladders down so they can see that you're. Gonna... Absolutely. So here's what it looks like from the back. You're okay. seeing that distinct stretched out, mm -hmm. one stitch stretched out, you mm -hmm. know, kind of pattern. And then from the front. Oh yeah, we should show the front, that's good. <laughs> from the front you see that all this ribbing oh, has sure. been turned into oh, this, look at this puffy kind of cluster. Well now I have my next project for my grandson. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea.